Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We've got an update on Prey. This is the Hulu, Hulu, Hulu uh, Predator film. It's by Dan Trachtenberg. It's said, actually, to be the very first interaction we have with the Yautcher Predator species. Um, this is somewhat conflicting for me. Uh, I know that Disney is looking to distance themselves from 20th Century Fox. Although it's obviously 20th Century Studios uh, that is working on it. But they're looking to distance themselves from the expanded media that uh, Predator has obviously established over the years. Uh, one of them being the Dark Horse comics. Because of course who's taking over the comics now is Marvel. Uh, this is a very similar thing to what they did with Star Wars, funnily enough. They throw out all the expanded universe. Uh, I mean it's not canon, but the lore. And then they spot-picked and choose what they wanted to include moving forwards. This is all about the time period, but it is also, uh, you know, it adds some weight to the rumours, the thoughts and theories that we would be getting um, Raphael Adelini's pistol, which is the pistol which we see in Predator 2 making an entrance in this film, and essentially the origin of this pistol, which has had an origin before uh, in a fantastic uh, Predator Dark Horse story, really, really good. Uh, I've I've done a video on it here uh, on the channel. I'll leave it linked above because it's a it's a good video. Uh, lots of people enjoyed that video, uh, and it you know it goes some way to explaining some of the sort of mythos and the thought process behind uh, the Predators. So let's take a look at what um, you know has been said about this film with respect to the time period. And then I guess go into a conversation about whether this is going to be good or bad. Um, and it, you know, signifies what Disney is looking to do with the property as a whole. Because this is their first one. But it was also put into... It's their first Predator movie uh, under Disney. But it was also put into production. Or at least pre-production. Uh, Pre-Disney. So I guess speculate yourselves and myself... Uh, on whether they've made any additional changes. We also do have a Jasper cameo. He's the sweetest little sweetest little boy. Isn't he just the sweetest little laddo? So let's take a look. Uh, this is uh, an article my friends over at avpgalaxy.net. Uh, great website, fantastic. Uh, sort of, you know, they, they amalgamate all of the news into one spot. Uh, really, really good website, so please do check it out. I'll leave the article link down below. I mean, it's very short. This is more of a speculation discussion piece than it is, uh, you know, a piece of news. Now, it says, while speaking to The Hollywood Reporter in celebration of his 20th anniversary at the company, 20th Century Studios, President Steve Asbel talked briefly about Dan Trachtenberg's upcoming Predator film, Prey. Asbel was asked about the kind of remakes or original content that the studio was producing. When the studio president used Prey as an example and elaborated on the new film's time setting. Now, uh, we have known for a while that the newest Predator film would be a period piece. We knew that. Comanche Warriors, etc. Uh, taking place in the past, focusing on the Native American tribe. However, the exact time period has been unknown until now. And here's the news. Ugh. You can take big creative swings, which you'll see with Prey, which will launch this summer. So that's, you know, we now have essentially a release date. We'd had some, some confirmation, but this just confirms it even further. So summer, this will be releasing over on Hulu. And he says, a Predator movie set in the Great Plains in 1719 by Dan Trachtenberg. Hmm. Now, we know that Prey will be taking place in 1719. This is four years after Predator 2's flintlock pistol was first engraved. Right? Four years after the pistol was engraved. The Comanche and the Spanish were in contact and conflict throughout the 1700s uh, and the 1800s. And it seems there may now be more to the speculation that Raphael Adelini's pistol may be featured in the film. The backstory behind Adelini's pistol has previously been explored by Dark Horse in their own short comic called Predator 1718. And if you haven't read that book, um, again, just check out the video I did. Uh, I've left it linked above. 
It may be possible we'll be seeing another interpretation of the story behind how Greyback, which is the elder Predator in Predator 2, came into possession of the pistol. So, few things really to dive into here. So, we finally have our time setting, our, our sort of period, 1719. Um, so, few things. There was, uh, you know, some sort of discussion about uh, that not necessarily, you know, that the, the, there was essentially um, initial report saying, you know, it's pre, um, or it's just on the cusp of uh, colonizers and all this kind of stuff, because obviously that's, that was the buzzword at the time. Colonization, um, you know, whites coming to America, etc. Um, but this is obviously now more so uh, Spanish. So that's interesting. That sort of, you know, throws that out the window, I guess, to a certain degree. But this is more, you know, a, a piece, I guess, about, you know, should we go back and, with new companies take over, retroactively adjust that? Now, the the comic was never, never confirmed to be canon, right? Like Dark Horse licensed Predator out, um, uh, Fox licensed Predator out to Dark Horse, sorry. And, um, you know, they, they had pretty relative free reign, but it made sense. Like, it was an interesting, uh, it was an interesting exploration, and it worked really well. And in fact, like, if you were ever going to do it, that, that would have been a, a really, really interesting story to tell. This is supposedly the very first time a predator has come down to Earth. This is the first hunt they've ever had on Earth, um, which I always hated that idea. I think it shrinks the universe. I think it's, you know, narratively, it brings the universe, it sandboxes yourself. It's completely moot at that point, you know. This is the very first time. Well, why? Why don't you want to explore another one? Just because you as a creative team, you know, has jumped on board doesn't mean that someone else jumping on board wouldn't want to explore something else, you know, further down the line. It's a very strange approach to take. Um, now, specifically about exploring Raphael Adelini, the story that was there previously was actually one which was really, really good. Like, it was a good story. You know, there's a pirates, um, uh, pirates, and, uh, you know, the, the, there's like a mutiny. Oh, this is all from the top of my head. Uh, but basically, there's a mutiny, and um, the Predator comes down uh, and essentially fights back-to-back -back with Raphael Adelini um, because he sees him as worthy, um, and, and, and they sort of fight together. Um and then he's gifted, in a strange turn of events, I guess, uh, the um, the predator is gifted the pistol, uh, as opposed to well, well, Raphael Raphael Adelini being gifted anything. Um, and then obviously that then being passed on further down the line. Yeah, like it, it's a good story. Um, I don't like what Disney has done with Star Wars on a whole. Some of their stuff is good. But I don't know whether they've employed anyone specifically at 20th Century Studios to keep a track of the law or whether they have someone overlooking the law of Predator. It's obviously a much smaller franchise by comparison, a much smaller fan base. Um, they're not as rabid as Star Wars fans because there's not as many of them. But make no mistake, Disney, Predator fans will be pissed if you go back and change stuff for no reason, especially if it's not going to be a better story. Uh, so I sincerely hope that this isn't the case. Uh, I really hope this isn't. Now, there is some thought pattern to, to explore here, I guess, with respect to, well, was this something which 20th Century Studios approved of? Was this their plan? Or did Disney come in and retroactively change it further down the line? Now, Disney just green lighting something could have happened if the financiers were in place already. But they're still going to be taking a hit on this uh, in terms of some level of financial impact so i would have imagined if this was at the very least the majority of the story this could be something which disney uh chose to change and and, and include um especially the sort of female comanche as well i mean that's disney all over not that 20th century fox were making great decisions with their alien or predator properties let's be honest so it'll be interesting to see how this moves forward um yeah, I don't know whether I like it or dislike it yet. Disney have a habit of doing this, and it normally ends up pretty, pretty shocking. So, yeah. 
I'm reluctant to say this is anything but bad news. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. If you're new here, love to have you here a little bit more. Hit subscribe, turn the bell notifications on, give the video a like, and do share it. But thank you so much, ladies and gents. Follow me over on Twitter at Mr. H Reviews and on Instagram, Mr. Underscore Nate underscore H. If you want to send anything, we've got a PO box down below. Cheers. Take care.